And this is the inner symphony of greatness. The epic soundtrack of success. You don't need to see with your eyes to achieve greatness. You only need to hear and follow her voice. And that voice is crying out from the weight room, the track, the practice court, the field. And it is waiting on you. You have to learn how to keep going, keep pushing, keep grinding, even when you don't see any results. Just because you don't see any immediate gains doesn't mean you ain't making progress. So you gotta learn how to go beyond the limits of your feelings, going beyond what your eyes don't see, and go all in to pursue what could be. Stop scoreboard watching and trust in the process, the principles, and the habits that actually put points on that scoreboard. I was born a champion. It's you versus you. So you gotta find a why that makes you invincible, that you can run through walls with it. Dangerous is the man that understands his only enemy is the one that he sees in the mirror. No limits, no boundaries, no restrictions. They had a dream. And since the presence of a warrior who's got greatness on his mind. Rise, champion. Every time they mention my name, they will say champion. Because I am a champion. Every day that I get up, I say good morning, champion. When I look in the mirror, I see a champion. When I go to the gym, I work out like a champion. When I eat, I eat like a champion. The stuff I put in my mind is champion. Cause all day, I am a champion. From sunrise to sundown, from the moment I open my eyes to the moment I close them, I am a champion. You must learn how to keep going, keep pushing, and keep grinding even when you don't see any results. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. No more excuses. I'm Billy Alls Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. One billion people, to God be the glory. The things you're about to hear are the powerful inner thoughts going on inside the mind of a champion. I was born a champion. I was raised a champion. I got champion in my bloodline. I've always been a champion. I will always be a champion. And when I close my eyes and die, I will be a champion. On my headstone, they will write champion. Every time they mention my name, they will say champion. My legacy is champion. My obituary will read champion. Every time they mention my name, they will say champion. Because I am a champion. Every day that I get up, I say good morning champion. When I look in the mirror, I see a champion. When I go to the gym, I work out like a champion. When I eat, I eat like a champion. And the stuff I read makes me an even better champion. The stuff I put in my mind is champion. Cause all day I am a champion. From sunrise to sundown, from the moment I open my eyes to the moment I close them, I am a champion. I pray, I think, I speak, I walk like a champion. No loss, no setback, no mistake. Whatever change that, I'm a conqueror. Born to succeed, anointed to prosper, blessed and unstoppable, and I will arise out of the ashes because my God will not fail me because I am, always have been, and always will be a champion. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can do all things because with God all things are possible, and I am a champion doing the impossible. Failure is not an option. I refuse to concede because I'm a champion when I bleed. My blood is champion. And anything that stands in my way, I will go through it, over it, or around it because I am a champion. Nothing can stop me.
blessed and unstoppable. I am the undefeated, undisputed, never beaten champion of the world. The world says I'm a loser. I get up every day and go to war with that statement. They think I'm lazy. I'm hungrier than ever. Beast mode, I'm eating all competition. The devil says I've got no money. Money comes to me easily, frequently, and abundantly in God's perfect way. The world says I'm crazy. The world belongs to the bold. They remind me of the losses I've taken. They say I'll never recover. I serve the God of restoration. I will make a comeback. They say you can't pay your bills with dreams. Success will come off the assembly line of my mind. They say I only have average talent. Hard work and discipline are the great equalizer. Why don't you get a nine to five, a normal job that pays every week? Because I'm the head and not the tail. Above, not below. I was strategically designed for greatness. It looks like your God has forgotten you. My God will never leave me nor forsake me. You really believe all that stuff you're saying? Destiny is obligated by universal law to concede to the demands of unwavering faith and I believe I'm a champion, committed, hungry, dedicated, fearless, bold, never wavering, full of faith, anointed, prosperous, strong, righteous, focused, Discipline, willing to do whatever it takes to be a champion. I will arise one day and make a fool out of all those who doubted me. I will live with no fear. I will boldly attack the things that scare me. They will not stop me on my destiny. No health issues, no job issues, no financial issues, no relationship issues. Nothing shall stand in the way of my divine calling because I am a champion. I was born a champion, raised a champion, have always been a champion, will always be a champion. My legacy is champion. And when it's all said and done on my headstone, they will write champion. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you life is gonna be Ron Howard happy days every day. It's not gonna be that way. Matter of fact, it's probably gonna be the opposite. You see, the enemy is gonna throw everything he has in his toolbox at you. Now, he can't stop you himself, but his objective is to get you to stop you. This message is for the struggle, for all those going through trials and tribulations. People in this world are gonna fool you, disappoint you, turn their back on you. The closest around you are gonna give up on you. And when things hit the fan, everybody's gonna run. You're gonna look around and you're gonna be all alone. I'm just keeping it real with you because somebody out there needs to hear what I'm saying. This ain't a motivational video. Man, this is life. This ain't no game to me and I know what you're going through. And I'm going to speak life into you right now. Nothing, listen to me, nothing can stop you. God will never leave you nor forsake you and that is all you need. There's a power inside of you that you can only discover when you are truly alone. Just as the waves on a beach shore come in and out, people will do the same. Relationships are like music and you should never make music when anybody who doesn't understand, appreciate, and value your lyrics. Sometimes, you just gotta let these people go. You gotta know your worth. Sometimes you just gotta let them people go. You gotta stop chasing people who don't appreciate you. Sometimes in this life, champion, you gotta remind the world just who you are.
And you don't do this by telling them with your mouth. You tell them with your actions. You make your actions speak loud and proud to who you are. Don't let the world convince you that you're a nobody. You're somebody who just don't know it yet. Do you hear what I'm saying, champion? I'm speaking to the champion in you. Rise, champion. The way of the warrior. Champion eyes. Get back up. My spirit cries. Fear dies. Choked out by the scream. The desire to climb. And live out my dream. Take it for the team. Discipline reigns. I want it too bad to listen to the pain. I'm a winner. To God be the glory. Tragedy and setbacks. An inspirational story. Warriors like me. We were strategically designed for the struggle. Many before me. Gave up and quit. Acted all bad. <laughs> to the first time they got here. But see blood don't scare me. I fear not death. Whatever it takes, champion, to be the best of the best. I was made for war. I cry out to heaven, blessed and unstoppable, an immortal legend. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain. Kicking and punching, I just keep on pounding. I found it. That deep desire to win. I remember defeat and I say, never again. See, warriors like me, we were born and strategically designed for the struggle. The way of the warrior, champion eyes, get back up, my spirit cries. Fear dies, choked out by the screams. The desire to climb and live out my dreams. Take it for the team. Discipline reigns. I want it too bad to bow to pain. I'm a winner. To God be the glory. Tragedy setbacks. An inspirational story. Many before me gave up and quit. Acted all bad to the first time they got in. Blood don't scare me. Fear not death, whatever it takes, champion, to be the best of the best. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain. Kicking and punching, I just keep on pounding. Because I'm a warrior, and that's what we do. I'm Billy Owls Brooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. But not broken, got one shot, don't blow this Distractions, can't focus, my mask on, can't show this Too busy, got here glowing, that fan base keeps growing Momentum, can't slow it, I'm Mozart composing She posing with her hair dyed, fake friends and their twisted lies Contacts, blue eyes, plastic chicks with nine lives Three junkies, just getting high, black ice, touch the sky Blinded by the sunrise I'm wounded but still alive Sweet candles keep burning The world keeps on turning I'm seeking discernment My spirit keeps yearning School books with no learning Yeah, star boy, you earned it That fire from the furnace The world is yours and you earned it Silly Billy keep burning The world is yours and you earned it I'm wounded but not broken Got one shot, don't blow this distractions can't focus my mask on can't show this too busy out here glowing that fan base keeps growing momentum can't slow it i'm mozart composing rock stars smoking no cupid cigars flashing in those rental cars that ain't really who you are i paint you like my I'm teeth deep and i broke in boom deep and i broke in rock stars smoking no cupid cigars Flashing in those rental cars That ain't really who you are I beat you 
like my teens did, but not broken. Wounded, but not broken. Wounded, but not broken. Wounded, but not broken. This is Dr. Billy Alls Brooks. Blessed and unstoppable. Impact one billion people. The art of motivation. Welcome to the Louvre. And to God be the glory. Success is a war over the invisible. It's having the faith and vision to see what could be, can be, and will be when consistently watered with an undeniable grind. Truth, the language of those who are truly alive. Soaring on wings of faith, they gracefully fly. Radiating the power that they found down inside. Wrapped in fire, watch the chosen climb. Something in them refuses to be denied. Seizing the moment they know the time has arrived. Refusing to doubt or believe any of his lies. We call these people overcomers because they know how to climb. Everywhere that you look around you, you can sense that people don't want to see you succeed but I'm gonna plant this in your spirit the fire and truth on the inside of you will make room for you whether the haters like you or not doubt is the best salesman that there's ever been he gets up every day and knocks on your door trying to sell you on the lie that you aren't good enough but those who can sit in silence and still believe shall one day hear the music of that which they believe for each time you face something you fear in truth you go to a deeper level of growth awareness and personal power see the fire grows inside of you when you own and accept everything about you it's time to stop running and climb there's three types of people in this world those in the game those on the sidelines and those in the stand watching the time has come for you to make a decision right now which one of those three do you want to be climb now you could tell when somebody's about to go to the next level in life because you could see it in their eyes when the world turns their back on you when the whole world calls you crazy because your dream is so big Climb! And when you feel like you are at the end of yourself And that you can't take another step Still climb! The most difficult and pivotal times in your life You will have to travel alone But those who can sit in silence and still believe Shall one day hear the music that they believe for Warriors and overcomers, they know how to climb. As an heir to the promise, God has given you an inheritance beyond your own capability. The only way you will be able to come in possession of this inheritance is by faith. The real revolution is self-awareness. It's when you awaken to the truth that you yourself determine your own peace, success, and outcome in life. Real success, real transformation, real emancipation starts when you finally awaken to your own individual power and the God who gave it to you then you boldly wrap yourself in faith and unleash yourself upon the world climb champion climb warrior climb overcome climb soldier climb wrapped in fire the chosen climb this is Billy Alls Brooks and I am blessed and unstoppable via true music and to God be the glory Champions are champions because they master the art of getting back up. Now, no matter what you do or how much you prepare, at some point in your life, you are going to get knocked down. But see, for the legends, champions, warriors, and for the overcomers, no obstacle, no trial, no tribulation, no situation is strong enough to keep them there. With that loss and defeat, behind you awaken the giant within you how you respond right now will define you tap into that greatness on the inside of you they doubt you so the world will try you but don't you let anything deny you show the world you still have fight in you let them all see that champion inside of you let them all see that champion inside of you each challenge 
you face is a great big mirror that allows you to see inside yourself. The way you respond to struggle will reveal to the world who you really are. Being a champion isn't just about the doing part. It's about the being part. You gotta become that person. I wanna ask you this question. Are you living life or is life living you? You keep accepting average. Why? You keep settling for average. You keep conceding to average. Why? You weren't designed to be mediocre, to be average, to be nothing less than the best warrior. Legend, show them what a champion looks like. The bitter taste of defeat, the sting of a loss. Never again, said the champion. Whatever the cost, fight back to the day they bury me. Do or die. By any righteous means necessary I will overcome because that's who I am Mama didn't raise no quill The struggle's real but my God's big Mama didn't raise no quill The struggle's real but my God's big Fearless, nothing's gonna stop me Average is the only thing that haunts me I won't buy the lies the enemy tells me Unstoppable my God won't fail me. I am type, the liar, beast mode, vision. I dream with my eyes closed. I am type, the liar, beast mode, vision. I dream with my eyes closed. Hungry, dedicated to greatness. Victory's mine, I'm gonna take it. The struggle's real, the crime made me. The pain hurt, but it did not break me. The pain hurt. That's why I'm blessed and unstoppable. Legends and champions. This is Billy Alls Brooks. And my God still lives. And to him be the glory. I started going to this men's group at church because I was trying to get all these panic attacks. And um, I'm in there for a while until one night this guy come up to me, the guy who ran it. He's like, hey, uh, can you teach next month? For some reason, I said, okay, I'll do it. So all week, man, I prepped and prepped and prepped and nervous, you know, get up there. I get up there that night on that Monday night, and I say, first thing I say, I say, God still moves. And it was like an explosion went off on the inside of me, man. Boom, like a nuclear bomb. It's like I turned into Superman. And I started talking, and the words started popping, and just, and the crowd was moving, and I'm like, where that came from? You know, like, you know, and people were vibing, and it, it never got like that before. Hmm. And I spoke two hours in there, and nobody left on a Monday night. And we talk about 9 o'clock, people go home, right? We stayed another hour after, and then an hour in the parking lot. And it was just like the energy was there. So when I got home, I told my wife, I said, I don't know, but I stumbled on something. Something I say on, on the video, set yourself on fire, and the world will come see you burn. Set yourself on fire, the anointing, the passion, the thing that you most love to do. Turn that up. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the scoreboard, the numbers and all that, the followers, the likes. Mm. Just turn yourself up, mm. doing the thing that you love to do, and the world will find you. Dale Carnegie said, Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Arise, champion. Now perseverance transforms average, everyday people into world champions. So the key to victory, the key to success is never giving up. And in order for you to do that, arise, champion. You will need a strong why to prevail, a strong reason to keep going. You see, the more difficult your obstacles are to overcome, the more you must keep your reasons for succeeding in front of you. Vince Lombardi said, The difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but a lack of will. Success is not about how you look on the outside. Arise, champion. You might look like a Lamborghini, mean and clean, everywhere you go. But see, I'm interested in what's under the hood, because that's what really matters. When life hits you with that brick And you get knocked down on that mat And I'm 
I'm talking to the Linda Rouseys of the world, the ones that been knocked down once and twice, and everybody out there is calling you a failure. Everybody out there saying it's over. What are you gonna do? Rise, champion. I don't even think they should be able to call you a champion until you've been beat. Because even losers keep going when they're winning. But when you get hit with that brick and you own that mat on your back, rise, champion. Then we separate the cream from the crop. Only when you're down 25 points on the biggest stage, like Tom Brady, and you come back, can we call you the greatest of all time? Abraham Lincoln said, I am not concerned that you have fallen. I am concerned that you arise. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Get up! The ground, the mat, being on your back is no place for a champion. Get up! Arise, champion. Now you at that crossroads. The decision you make now will ultimately define your legacy. I'm speaking to the Tiger Woods of the world. Each loss, each setback, each heartbreaking disappointment will try to disguise itself as failure. But it's all a lie. And let us not grow weary of doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not give up. Many times on the road to success you're going to feel crushed, exhausted, and alone. See, life is not like Little League. Arise, champion. They don't give away participation trophies. There's the champions and everybody else. It's one or the other. How do you want to be remembered? Each time life knocks you down, Arise, champion. you must bounce back with an even greater hunger to succeed. The ones that have the hardest time doing this are the ones that have weak wives. Now you can only go as far in life as your wife will carry you. Champions have self-awareness. They know why they want what they want and that why carries them to the promised land. The why is the birthplace of all champions. She is the mother to all legends and all the greats in every field. The more deeply you are connected to the thing you're trying to accomplish, the more likely you are to achieve it. Natural talent and ability, that's all good. But it won't carry a quitter. So you gotta find a why that makes you invincible. That you can run through walls with it. Get up! Nietzsche said, He who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. And I'm not ignoring what you're going through. Get up! And I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you this gonna be easy, cause it's not. It's gonna be a struggle. You're gonna have to fight and claw and scrape your way up out of this thing. But you can do it if you wanna do it. Now, are you a pretender or are you a champion? You can't have a testimony without first having a test. The whole world is watching you right now. Get up! To see how you respond. Show them what you made of. Never give up. They think I'm crazy. They think I'm out of my mind. They think I'm just a dreamer. They've always underestimated me. See, they think I'm beaten. They think they've broken my spirit. They said, there ain't no way he's going to get up off the mat this time. He's done. They expect me to quit. They expect me to give up. They're waiting on me to wave that white flag. They think I'm all defeated. They can't wait to laugh at my demise. They can't wait to see me fall. They never believed in my dream. Yeah, they thought those death threats would scare me. <laughs> I'm immortal. Haters tend to write their history in pencil. This way, if you ever blow up, they can erase their actions and pretend that they supported you all along. But that ain't gonna work with me, cause I remember what you did. How the spirit of Jezebel got in you to try to break me. You were too stupid to see that the enemy was choosing you. As you crushed me into a million pieces, I just got stronger. Trials and tribulations are just chaotic voids begging to be penetrated by the power of the mind. The stumbling block of man is as ignorance as to where God's power truly resides. 
He looks externally for the keys to his freedom, not knowing that the means to his liberation is already within him. One must die to the knowledge of limitations in order to rise above it. I am immortal. A million times you have tried to discourage me and rate me with your small mind. I died to the silly ways of your conformity and I have learned to thrive in the midst of chaos. Who cares anymore about your little opinion? It's what's in me that's going to make me not take me to the river of enlightenment. Cast your indictments as the water acquits me. I am immortal. Why do you look to the sky for what's already in your heart? David's God is living within you. The ancient scriptures are the key to liberation, but reading them with mortal eyes has caused you to make a prison of them. Begging, confused with prayer, gibberish, sold as faith, citizens of the world all synchronizing in chaos. His daddy sits there on the throne of silence. What hurt me then shall pay me now. What broke me then shall make me now. Each failed relationship has the power to make a legend. Like alchemists who turn heartache into literary gold. Common souls wear a mask. No tolerance for pain, but the insane fearlessly pursue the love. The genius residing in the creative makes him immortal. Invisible are the poets whose truth are eternal. First name legend, last name immortal. Doubters can't stop a person who trusts God with the sky. When you start playing the game of life timid and start believing, God will put a kind of wind under your wings that'll have you looking down on the haters. It's hard for those born in the dark to believe that there is such a thing as day. But for those who dare to dream, the sun will rise in the morning. I say for those who dare to dream, the sun will rise in the morning. Let us all burn with the knowledge of immortality. As the flame burns, death shall not see the mind of the blind. The stomach of worms shall starve forever. Her hands of age shall not touch the oblivious. Those dancing idiots shall sing to infinity. Whoever dare look into the mirror of eternity, their mortality shall low be forgotten in the arms of days. I am immortal. Greatness requires being bold enough to do something that doesn't make sense to the rest of the world. Only those brave enough to be misunderstood earn the right to be called legends. There's a reason that kings don't talk too long to peasants. Because if they do, the peasants start believing that they too are royalty. You saw my kindness as a weakness. You thought because I granted you access that you weren't equal with me. But only hungry eyes can see the beauty of wisdom. Only thirsty ears can hear the voice of truth. Only the tired heart can digest understanding. Only the weak soul can swallow revelation. Champions turn every mistake, defeat, and failure into a testimony. I'm immortal. I am the voice for those who have none. I am the light. For those born in the dark, I protect the power for all the souls out there who are weak. I am the fire for those who are lukewarm. I am the passion for those who have yet to find theirs. I am the climb for those who have no stairs. I represent all the hurting souls who were told they would never be nothing. I am immortal. Motiversity, Dr. Billy Alves Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. Somebody out there needs to hear this right now. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't live your dream. Tell them fine true music. Impact one billion people. This is motivational art. I am immortal. Welcome to the lose. And to God be the glory. To those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. Romans 2, 7. If you don't seize the moment, the moment will find someone else who will. I didn't come to just motivate you. I came to transform your life. Pursue the fire. Embrace the new. Stay in truth in all that you do. Breathe the real. You are enough. No judgment at all. Just radiate love. The world is yours. That desire for more. As the sweat pours, I say it again. The world is yours. There ain't no slacking up. Cause the words are only good as the actions that are backing them up Greatness You are able But you gotta stop giving average a seat at the table Lottery pick One and done You can either look up at the stars or you can become one My gift to you 
a brand new attitude. Complacency is just as dangerous as ingratitude. Now don't get me wrong, I won't judge you, but I will call you out and demand from you that greatness inside of you. To conquer the highest levels of life, one must not only get used to pain, but become immune to it. Champions stare at the things that make them uncomfortable until uncomfortable bows to them. Most people love the idea of being successful. They just don't love it enough to actually do the things that it takes to make it happen. Actions are the credit line that allows spoken words to purchase the dream. It's not all about just talking. You gotta move from talking to doing. If you don't seize the moment, the moment will find someone else who will. The way you speak, the way you act, the way you carry yourself teaches the world how to approach you. Just because you've done something or been a certain way all your life doesn't mean that's the real you. That's just the version that you've accepted and consistently acknowledged. Your dreams are constantly seeking the ground to build themselves upon. And that foundation is your faith to step fully into greatness. You have to awaken to the fact that you are already that which you seek. If you don't seize the moment, the moment will find someone else who will. The masses only see opportunities on Black Friday. Successful people train their mind to see opportunities every day. I say it again, the world is yours. Discipline is sexy. Grind is cologne. Sweat is lingerie. Work is seductive. How attractive are you based on that standard? I'm about to give you the million dollar lottery ticket right here. But the question is, will you cash it in? If you want to be successful at the highest levels, you got to stop chasing the trends, seeking followers and getting your word from social media likes. Just be yourself. Set yourself on fire with passion and the world will come to you. See, people who are real, authentic, and willing to be vulnerable on a big stage are rare. This is the ticket. You gotta stand in the center of truth and refuse to move from it. Don't budge. Trust the process and let the world come to you. Everybody's seeking truth. Once you wrap yourself in it, the whole world is yours. I say it again, the whole world is yours. Truth is the couture for greatness. You can either serve tomorrow or you can make tomorrow serve you. You can either look up and admire the stars, or you can become one. The world is yours. Bold, seeking real, raw, expressing how you feel. Mentally vulnerable, emotionally naked, unstoppable, seizing the blessing. The art of greatness, paint my stroke. Get back up, champion, and reload. Explode with awareness of who you are. A product of God, a shining star. I say champions never die A warrior's heart designed to survive Explode with awareness of who you are A product of God, a shining star Truth is the couture for greatness No more excuses, the world is yours Pursue the fire, embrace the new Stay in truth and all that you do Breathe the real, you are enough No judgment at all, just radiate love Pursue the fire, embrace the new Stay in truth and all that you do. Breathe the real. You are enough. No judgment at all. Just radiate love. Rise, champion. The world is yours. This is Billy Osbrooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. To be the best version of you requires boldly attacking the things that scare you. When you feel lost, you breathe life into its potentiality. The hidden inside us is the most dangerous, but when you invite it to the surface and face it, then it becomes a weapon that thrusts you to greatness. Those who seek high achievement must become detectives of the mind. Success requires investigating the darkest corners of one's own thinking for any held beliefs that might rob one of greatness. Personal transformation requires constant examination of the mental programming and belief systems that have been accepted from the world. We must closely question, scrutinize, and disassemble each and every thought, making sure that our thinking will give birth to the type of life that we desire. When you discover yourself, you don't just find you. 
you find God. My flesh seeks applause, but the fire in me says I don't need it. My God won't fit in the box you keep trying to put him in. The dream too big to bloom in the house that you live in. My love for you is real, but I can't have a conversation down there. My heart burns, but it's hard for your soul to understand what I'm saying. Nothing can stop me. I'm bound for glory. There is no growth without the murder of the lesser in us. Only by dying to the lower levels of acknowledgement can we ascend to greatness. The wolf and dog in us must kill one another. This understanding permits us to climb the stairs of heaven. Trading our mortal bodies for the celestial, we thirst for salt water. By drinking from the vast oceans of consciousness, the bridge to eternity is established. Bloody minds allow us to cross over. Virgin thinking, the wings that carry us. Lasting change requires one to first go to the guillotine, to lay the head down blindly on the chopping block. It's vital that we leave no evidence of this conspiracy behind. The previous limited existence of us must be fully eradicated. All memory of what was deleted from the record of reality. Even the weapon we use to commit this violent act must be discarded. All Past awareness washed away in the river of new as we enter the self-induced coma of enlightenment. We must become murderers, sliding the noose around our own necks. We lynch our false self, putting the gun to our thinking. We now bow to a greater God, plotting premeditated acts of identity homicide. The bloodshed and massacre must be intentional. The kitchen knives and forks of deeper understanding penetrate the thief in us. Lying in a puddle of delusions, we slowly bleed to death. The personality dissolving into the belly of the starving. Reborn at the butcher shop, our new lungs exhale the divine. Are you a murderer? We must kill off our thinking, our old habits, our old ways, our old belief systems. To create the new life, first we must destroy. Destiny's child anxiously awaits to feel your loving arms. So precious are the little hands and feet of our dreams. The lungs of our unconscious waiting patiently to take their first breath. To look into the eyes of our own creation bonds us with God. We cannot have full manifestation of ourself until we can first swing the sword. Tomorrow's sun requires us to murder the comfort of today. Death, war, and struggle are the building blocks of life. We must kill off all traces of the lower version of ourselves. Engaging in active imagination, we can recreate the garden we so long for. Yes. By dividing the truths of inner awareness, spiritual procreation takes place. Mount the dream who arouses your soul and protect it with your thinking. All that's left is the flame. I'm bound for glory! The greater the struggle, the greater the destiny. The vicious birth pains of a dream only confirm the importance of it. To give up on a dream is to commit an abortion on a life one could have had. Let us not abandon our future victory for the illusions of today. Ignore not the cry of your own. Ignore not the burning fire within. Ignore not the tiny legs kicking in the belly of your dream. When we slaughter our fetus by way of fear and doubt, we become the victim. Maternal mortality stains us with the blood of what could have been. The inner tensions of needing evidence terminates our pregnancy. Heaven impregnates the imagination, planting its divine sperm in our minds. But it's our faith that must guard the wound that carries tomorrow. Each trimester requires a deeper conviction, a deeper belief that must fertilize the egg. We need not ask for permission to be that which we are. We need not seek approval to dream the dream that we've been given. We need not beg for validation to breathe the air that excites us. All we need to do is just Burn! You can't stop fire. Bound for glory. For those that want to go to the next level in life, I'm going to lay out three things for you today. And if you align every thought, every word you speak, and every action you take with these three, then greatness will be yours. Number one, the foundation of greatness must be built on fire. Now when I say fire, I'm 
you're referring to passion. Success is just a child, the offspring produced from a person who has married doing the thing they love. If you want greatness, then you gotta pick your profession like you want a soulmate. You gotta marry the one that makes you feel the most alive. Suing your passion is the cure for amnesia. It will awaken your spirit and reveal to you your true identity. See, most people are walking around in this nine to five job coma with spiritual amnesia. They have forgotten who they are. Pursuing the flame, the fire, the passion of doing what you love is the alarm clock for your spirit. It will awaken you back to your true identity who God made you to be. Some seek a job. Some seek a product to sell. But the greats, the legends, the people that go to that next level in life, they seek themselves. Close your eyes and look inside and follow the flames that flicker until you find your way back home. The fire created when doing your passion is a gift from God. That's why there's so much power in it. Stop making your decisions based on money and make your decision based on fire. Set yourself on fire and the world will come see you burn. It's so rare today to see a person doing what he loves. Most people are not bold enough, not brave enough to step into that fire, to that ring and just believe. We are living in a spiritual ice age. Strike a match and set yourself on fire on the inside. Ignite that greatness and the whole world will gather around you for warmth. Ferdinand Fush said the most powerful weapon on earth is the human soul on fire. Now I ask you, what are you most passionate about? What sets you on fire on the inside? Romance was not just designed for our spouse. Get alone with yourself. Explore intimacy with the things that you love. Connect to yourself and what God has placed in you. Success requires focus, energy, intensity, zeal, enthusiasm, love, fire, charisma, heat, passion, intensity, dedication. Dive into your passion and the world will illumine with fire. When you move to the center of your passion, the world will begin to make sense. Positive thinking is powerful. But you cannot think your way to greatness. You have to burn yourself there. Now the second element that you need to filter your life through if you want to achieve greatness is truth. Now John 4.24 says, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Truth is the couture for greatness. If you want to go to that next level, you got to get up every day and drape yourself down in it. Truth can only be understood fully from the center of one's colon. See, the fire produced from doing your passion brings clarity just as the choir sings. May your life harmonize with nothing but truth, authenticity, originality, realness. You already have everything inside of you needed to produce the type of life that you desire. All you have to do is to dive deep into your own truth. The truth that God put in you. All the power you need to open the door to attract opportunity lies your freedom, your liberation, your emancipation can only come by way of truth. The truth and only the truth shall set you free. Passion is an inexhaustible appetite to express to the world what one is. Now listen to me. Those who chase trends instead of pursuing their own truth disqualify themselves from greatness. Different is beautiful. The greats don't try to fit in. They do everything in their power to stick out, to do themselves. The moment I stop trying to get acceptance from the world is the moment my life began to change. I learned the hard way that those who don't respect truth will choke on the lies and illusions of life. Surround yourself with people who cannot breathe without your truth. See, that's the winning formula. You want winning relationships, a winning team, a winning staff, a winning organization, put together as many people as possible together who cannot breathe without truth. Self-awareness is being able to see oneself accurately without the distortions of the world. And when you align with truth, you become unstoppable. Average is a deadly, rapid, spreading disease. 
This plague is responsible for killing the aspirations and dreams of millions. Now here's the truth. You are vulnerable to picking up this disease merely by being in the room with it. Beware of who's around you. You see, once this disease enters one area of your life, it will continue to grow and expand until it consumes your whole being. Its purpose is to mate and procreate with your mind in order to give birth to mediocrity. Just look around. Every corner of the earth is infected with it. This pandemic has spread. It crawls its way into your thinking, down into your genes, and if not addressed, will be handed down to the next generation. The vaccine, the cure for average, is to address the thinking that gives birth to it. Most of the world is successful. I mean, very successful. But you see, they're successful at being average. Mediocrity has no place in the life of a champion. The only thing a champion is at peace with failing at is mediocrity. Now you say you want to be successful. And I ask you this question. How bad do you want it? The world doesn't care what you say. They care what you do. Action is direct evidence of a corresponding mindset. Everything else is circumstantial. If you were on trial right now for wanting to be successful, would you be convicted? Is there enough evidence in your life, enough action in your life, enough proof in your life that a jury of 12 would convict you of trying to be successful? This is not about competition. This is about being a good steward of the talents and abilities that God gave you. You were made in the image of the Creator And there's nothing about the Creator that's average There's nothing about the Creator that's mediocre There's nothing about the Creator that's lukewarm The Creator is greatness And that greatness is on the inside of you Now for you to step into that greatness You gotta get to the point in life where Anything mediocre Anything average Makes you sick You've been reading about success Posting quotes about success watching success on TV, but nothing is going to change in your life until you make a decision to stop being average. You want to go to the next level? You got to align your actions with the principles that govern promotions. Any reason, any excuse, any circumstance that allows you to justify being average or being mediocre is an absolute lie. The truth is, in life, you can only go as far as your mind and your grind will carry you. Most people are too comfortable with being good to ever be great. Some sit passively by waiting to discover themselves while others go out aggressively and create themselves. Stop being average. Your mouth is a creative weapon. It's not a tool for distributing excuses. The first sign of a loser is an excuse. Champions take full responsibility, good or bad, for their outcomes. Tell the world one time what you're gonna do, and that's it. Spend less time talking and more time grinding. Think like a champion, speak like a champion. And then walk it out! Grind! 120 all day! Every day! Stop making excuses! Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Every time you justify being average, you invite in the enemy. Mediocrity is a dream killer. Your coach, your trainer, your teacher, your foes is not the problem. It's your consistency. You gotta make a decision. How bad do you want it? Average is on the left, success is on the right. You gotta choose which one you want. A champion's workout doesn't officially begin.
until pain arrives. You see, greatness is right on the other side of pain. So what are you running from it for? You say you want to be successful, then push through it. Stop making excuses and go get it. Very few battles are won under ideal circumstances. So you got to simulate and practice the unknown so that the unexpected will not derail you. Every morning when you get up, ask yourself, how can I put myself in a place where I'll be uncomfortable? See, you have to master the unknown. You got to master your fears. You got to master the unexpected. So when it happens, you are prepared. Champions can push through and keep going when everyone else around them is quitting. They have immersed themselves in pain so often that they have become immune to it. Greatness is on the other side of pain. Go get it! The more you expose yourself to pain, the more comfortable you will become in its presence. A champion's workout doesn't officially start until pain arrives. Everything else is just a warm-up. A boxer can be the best technician in the world. But if he gets in the ring and the first time he gets hit, he falls apart, he's not going to be a champion, I tell you that. See, and life is just like that with us. We're good until we get hit in the face. But what separates champions from the rest is when they get hit, they keep coming. When you hit them a second time, they get stronger. And by that third time that life hits you and you're still standing, the world will know there's a champion in the ring. How bad do you want to be successful? Do you want it bad enough to get hit in the face? Because I tell you right now, that's what life's going to do to you. It's going to hit you when you least expect it. When you got your guard down, how will you respond? Refuse to let the world break you. Show life. What a champion looks like. I'm Billy Osbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. Grind is the foundation of come from nothing economics. For those who have nothing, who come from nothing, this is the great equalizer. And when the law of hustle is tapped into and fully harnessed, it can take somebody from poverty to the top of the world. The greats, the legends, the champions. If you look into their background, each and every single one of them were products of the struggle. They knew nothing, they had nothing, they came from nothing. So they resorted to the one thing that loved them, and that was the grind. Most of them all had the same philosophy, and that was that the struggle was justifiable if every single day their grind was moving them toward freedom. Emptiness is the breeding ground for both victory and destruction. You decide which one you give birth to. Grind is the foundation for come from nothing economics. And these people that rose up, they rose up first because they got a vision for what they wanted in life. You got to break that vision down into these five elements in this order now. Now I'm going to lay them out here for you. Number one, you got to be purpose driven. Number two, legacy focused. Number three, you got to be outcome oriented. Number four, goal centered. And number five, you got to align your actions with the dream. Your grind, your hustle, your work ethic must match the size of the dream that you are dreaming. To go to the next level, you will have to stop giving average and mediocre a seat at your table. See, there's two choices in life. You can either look up at the stars or you can become one. Because this world, this world that we live in belongs to the bold and the rest are just spectators. Grind foundation of come from nothing economics one of the turning points in my life was realizing that nobody was gonna open that door for me nobody was gonna put me on so I stopped asking and I started taking stop asking people to put you on and put yourself on to master the art of come from nothing economics you 
Gotta go 120, 24, 7, 365. You grind the world into submission. Now the only way that'll ever happen is if you find a why that's greater than any obstacle that can come against you, see. In the great ocean of life, there is no lifeguard that's coming to save you. You either learn how to swim or you drown. That's it. Grind and hustle are universal languages understood in every nation and every culture in the world. To give birth to a desired outcome, we must identify the mindset that produces that outcome and then adopt that way of thinking until it is manifested. Each level of success that you climb requires more resolve, more discipline, more hustle, more grind, more focus. You gotta wanna be successful more than you fear rejection. See, greatness is on the other side of no. Rejection did not break me. Rejection made me. I want to clear something up. Look, all people are capable of being successful. Every single one of you out there listening to me right now, you are capable of being successful in life. Don't let nobody lie to you. Now to tap into that potential, that capability that you have on the inside of you, that greatness, that champion, that warrior that you have on the inside that's begging to come out. Now to tap into that, you have to adopt the mindset that will produce that. Put an inner stand in a place that will create that. A grind that will build that. Grind is the foundation of come from nothing economics. The law of hustle states that a grind built around mediocrity won't support the lifestyle required to produce success. New Year's resolutions without discipline prolong one's incarceration to mediocrity. See the masses, they're merely satellites of the status quo. Successful people become the gravity that pulls the world in orbit around them. When faith becomes mobilized, transformation happens. So you gotta prove that you believe in your dream by taking action. Let your grind do the talking. Stop overcomplicating things. Success is simple. Dream the dream that you want to achieve and then grind at the level that it takes to produce it. That's it. When the world tells you that you can't do something, grind. If you have nothing and want to be something, grind. When they say your talent ain't enough, that you don't have the resources, the means, the background, the education, whatever it is, get up and grind. Come from nothing economics, built on grind. Product of the struggle, poverty and hard times The one they all doubted, no one believed or conceived But that stubborn fool just kept dreaming the dream The world is yours Truth the attire, be yourself And set the world on fire, higher Smash every ceiling that the world puts in place Grind buddy, till that sweat comes down your face I said hustle, the war, the struggle See buddy it's all the womb The block is what gives birth to that champion inside of you The ghost of fear, the spirit of doubt Relentless are the jealous ones that try to keep you down Established with sweat, built on grind Come from nothing economics. I'm Billy Owls Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable, and to God be the glory. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I'm a warrior, champion, and that's what we do. You think you've won. The world thinks I failed. But the truth is, I got you right where I want you. Fire true music. Me and destiny in collusion. Feed the dream, man. Starve the illusion I'm not weak I'm just strong in the making You'll never make me tap out You can't break me Struggle made me Watch me do it I ain't running from hell I'm bringing heaven to it I move away from the safety and comfort of the familiar And instead aggressively pursue the unknown Like David waiting on the throne ah, cry. Greatness is the child born out of intense struggle ah, Trials and tribulations are the factory that produce genius When an average person experiences rejection Their motivation diminishes When a champion, a warrior, tastes rejection It makes them hungrier than ever 
The biggest enemy of greatness is the undisciplined mind. Anyone who desires success at the highest level must first conquer their own thinking. As believers, we must chisel away with faith the illusion that what we desire is absent. Unwavering belief is the creative process that allows the full manifestation of what has always been. The law of attraction will bend and shape reality until the outside world looks like what we are seeing in our mind. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. We don't have to wait until we die in order to experience heaven. Our thinking can bring heaven to us now. Rise, champion, climb. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Some of you are trying to sell a dream to others that you yourself don't believe in. Successful people buy in first, knowing that the world will eventually follow. Your thinking must stop having affairs and must remain loyal to your dream for it to become a reality. Your spiritual adversary needs your fear and doubt in order to sustain himself. True warriors will always rise. Most of those that we call genius, regardless of their field of expertise, created their masterpieces from an emotional environment of pain. The hurt became legends by channeling and unleashing those raw, intense emotions of afflictions into their work. We feel and resonate deeply with their artistic expressions of truth because of the agony and trauma that gave birth to it. So use the gift of your own trial and tribulation to propel you beyond the common limits of average human existence. Harness this powerful inner energy created from your struggle and use it as transportation to take you to that place the world calls greatness. All the great influencers who shook the world did so by finding the strength in being vulnerable and owning it. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I'm a warrior, champion, and that's what we do. You think you've won. The world thinks I failed. But the truth is, I got you right where I want you. Fire true music. Me and destiny in collusion. Feed the dream and starve the illusion. I'm not weak. I'm just strong in the making. You'll never make me tap out. You can't break me. Struggle made me. Watch me do it. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I move away from the safety and comfort of the familiar and instead aggressively pursue the unknown. Like David waiting on the throne. Ah, Cry. Greatness is the child born out of intense struggle. Ah, Trials and tribulations are the factory that produce genius. Virtual music. Me and destiny in collusion. Feed the dream and starve the illusion. <laughs> you can't break me because the struggle made me. Dr. Billy Allsbrooks. Warrior. Blessed and unstoppable. Fire true music. To God be the glory. The most beautiful lessons in life are taught to us by way of pain. The people who have hurt us, the situations that have crushed us, are the greatest teachers that life has to offer. Now you are beautiful, strong, and amazing, and you deserve the best that life has to offer. So never shed tears for the blind. Those who have been assigned to you in life will see, acknowledge, and appreciate your value. You are a precious gift to the world. Your smile is the sun. You are the one child of the most high. Gorgeous is your energy. Projecting love with every ounce of your being. You are beautiful, strong, and amazing. And regardless of what the enemy has tried to sell you, you deserve the best that life has to offer. Real success is being comfortable in your own skin and owning that. Regardless of what other people say or think about you a life not on fire is a life wasted and when you pursue the flame with intensity and truth the warmth of it will remain loyal to you forever if the fire escapes you in one place it will reignite itself somewhere else even greater never settle you were never meant to settle for average you are beautiful strong and amazing and yes you i said you deserve the best that life has to 
offer. Now decide on the life that you want to live and ignore anything else but that. Discover the inner gifts that you have to give and build your life around that. Follow your passion to the fire, the desires of your heart. Dream big, for your time is now. In due time, the how will be revealed. Just trust the process because you are beautiful, strong, and amazing. And you deserve the best that life has to offer. You are a star and your best days are in front of you. Shine, baby, shine. And... Your mind on the verge of giving up Your body on the edge of collapse Both at war with the champion in your spirit Who refuses to concede to anything but overcoming So that the world can see just how beautiful, strong, and amazing you really are You deserve the best that life has to offer You are the eternal flame flickering Your best days are ahead of you Burn, baby, burn! I hold up the mirror so that your spiritual eyes can behold the treasures reflected in your father's image. So proud of you, heaven applauds. It's not your flaws that God is concerned with. It's you continuing to radiate the light even when all you know is darkness. Your response to the pain inflicted upon you by life will define your story. The title of your movie will be beautiful, strong, and amazing because you, I said it again, you deserve the best that life has to offer. It takes an expert sinner to understand what grace is. Someone else's mistake does not mean your value is any less. I again hold up the mirror so that you can see the fears for what they really are. Get in the ring with the things that scare you until they haunt you no more. Fear is a track star that cannot be outrun. The only way to overcome fear is to face it head on without flinching. You are beautiful, strong, and amazing. Again, I say, you deserve the best that life has to offer. The most powerful lessons in life are taught to us by way of pain. The people who have hurt us, the situations that have crushed us, are the greatest teachers that life has to offer. You are beautiful, strong, and amazing, and you deserve the best that life has to offer. Never shed tears for the blind, because those who have been assigned to you in life will see, acknowledge, and appreciate your value. Just because they made a mistake does not mean your value is any less. You are beautiful, strong, and amazing. This is Billy Alls Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. It's on. New year, new grind. I got a question for you. Are you living life, or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life? Or is life living you? Less than unstoppable. The International World Tour. Dr. Billy Brooks, Coming to a city near you. I'll be teaching a four hour life changing seminar on the art of greatness. Arise champion. Every city will sell out. Get your tickets now. This year we're taking this thing global. 27 cities, Toronto, London, Paris, Rome. We're coming to impact one billion people. If you are serious about success, be at one of these events. Get your tickets now at blessedandunstoppable.com. Blessed and Unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. 
My new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Less than unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at lessthanunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon.